All right, so let's check out uh, a couple of applications of the uh, distance formula. Um, first one's probably more useful than the second one. Uh, but these are real-world or semi-real-world scenarios in which you could think of um, of them existing on a coordinate plane and then using the distance formula to find the distance between two points. So let's just look at them concretely. Um, my pal Henry punted a football at his team's five-yard line, 20 yards from the sideline. Uh, the ball landed at the 45-yard line, two yards from the same sideline. How far did he punt the ball? So anytime you've got distances given relative to something else, you know, 20 yards from the sideline, uh, um, at the five-yard line, you know, five yards from the goal line, then you can think of it as a as a coordinate system. So let's so let's diagram this. So um, let's figure out where he punted the football. So let's call this the sideline. Um, call the the y-axis, let's call that the sideline, just because, you know, if you're looking down at the field, this kind of looks like. And let's call this the goal line. Okay, so um, he's 20 yards from the sideline. Doesn't matter. I mean, we'll just we'll say he punted here. And what we can do is just, uh, we can just write the coordinates of that point. So um, 20 yards from the sideline. So starting here going this way so we'll call the x coordinate 20 does that make sense so um, 20 yards away this way and then uh, 5 yards he's on the his team's 5 yard line so 5 yards from the goal line here so the y coordinate will be 5 so we'll say it's relative to uh, what we're calling the goal line alright so that's the coordinates of um, place from which he kicked he punted the football right um, now let's figure out what the coordinates would be of where the ball landed so that the ball landed at the 45 yard line you know up here somewhere uh, two yards from the sideline so let's say you know let's mark it there and then so uh, so it's two yards from from that same sideline so the x coordinate here will be two and then it landed at the 45 yard line so uh, 45 yards from that goal line, so the coordinates would be 245. So now we can ask ourselves, what is this distance? Um, just gonna a little dotted line here. Yeah, that's what we want to know. What is this distance? So we can just use the distance formula here. Distance. Oops. Let's. Let's uh let's go back to solid lines here. Distance is equal to the square root. Okay, we have to decide what we're gonna call one and what we're gonna call two. Um, this is where you kick the ball, so let's let's call this one. That's where it landed, so let's call that two. Um, so x two minus x one, so this would be x two, and that would be. Um, x1. So x2 minus x1, 2 minus 20, which would be negative 18 uh, squared plus y2 minus y1, um, 45 minus 5 would be 40. And then we square that as well. Um, so let's figure out. So negative 18 squared. I forget what 18 squared is. Let's do 18 times 18. So it's 324. And it becomes positive because um, it would be a negative times a negative. That's 324. 40 squared would be 1,600. It's 4 times 4 is 16, so 40 times 40 would be 1,600. Uh, let's add these. I'll just save us some times, plus 1,600. Oops. 3, sorry, where were we? 324 plus 1,600 is 1,924. Oh, yeah, I could have done that. It is early in the morning for me, and I'm not awake yet. Um... Okay, so all this becomes 1924, and we need to take the square root of that. 
that I actually need a calculator for. Square root, square root, square root. Um, I tend to, I still haven't figured out where the square root, let's, oh, there it is. So about uh, 43.8, yeah, six. Let's, let's let's call it 43.9. Let's round it. 43.9 yards. Is this distance right here? 43 yards. Yeah, decent kick. Um, by the way, my my pal Henry really did play football in college. Small school, though. Um, all right, let's try another one real quick. Your house is five blocks east of mine and seven blocks north. How far apart are our houses as the crow flies? Meaning straight distance, not where we have to actually drive on the streets, but if I were to fly straight from your house to my house or vice versa, how far are they? Um, why would you need to know this? I don't know. Maybe you just would, you were curious. Um, so this whole five blocks east, seven blocks north business um, is uh, that idea of a coordinate plane. The distance is relative to something else. So let's let's mark, uh, and I'm just going to mark it over here. It's not going to be kind of, to, well, it's not going to be on the same scale as the football problem, but that doesn't really matter. So let's, let's call this, let's switch colors too. Let's call this my house. Um, and let's call this your house. Okay, so your house is five blocks east of mine and seven blocks north. Uh, I haven't said where mine is, so I've just said where yours is relative to mine. So let's call my house the origin. And then your house is five blocks east and seven blocks north. So if we just call mine zero zero, right? I I didn't say that mine is like seven blocks west of something else. Um, I've just given the location of your house relative to mine. So your house is five blocks east and seven blocks north of of mine. So, um, and I'm just calling east to the right. That's pretty normal, you know. A map usually east would be to the right and north would be up. So that's why I chose, I mean, I could have gone this way and then down or whatever. And we just have to, all right, so I, let me just mark that this is east and this is north. Okay, uh, so let's let's say these coordinates are 5, 7. All right, and let's call this point 2. Let's call this point 1. So our distance formula is going to be a little bit easier here because my point 1s are 0. So when I do x2 minus x1, I'm really just going to use x2, x, you know, because x1 is 0. So um, the distance between our houses is the square root of um, 5 squared plus uh, y2 minus y1, which is 7, and then squared. So 5 squared is 25, 7 squared is 49. Um, and then this would be uh, 74. 25 plus 50 is 75. 25 plus 49 would be 74. So we want the square root of 74. Square root, where would that thing go? Square root of 74. 8.6 and some change. The distance between our houses is 8.6 blocks. So the main idea is figure out how you would kind of superimpose the situation onto a coordinate plane so that you can give the two points coordinates. And if you can give the two points coordinates, then you can use the distance formula to find the distance between them.